Welcome to my apartment. Come on in. So this is my studio. You guys are about halfway in the middle of it, but I was obviously first drawn to this place because of these stunning stained glass windows. I just think they add so much like fun and character to the place along with obviously all of this amazing woodwork, the wainscoting um, all throughout this main room is just so beautiful. And I feel like a lot of studios around here, it's really, really hard to find something that has beautiful bones. Um, everything's usually just kind of like slapped together, cookie cutter, cheap. I can't wait to decorate it. I'm gonna force my dad to help me make some sort of bed frame that goes kind of into that nook right there, which I think will be just so pretty to wake up in the morning with all of that natural light. You could obviously use this as like a little sitting area. There's just like still all these beautiful details and then heat and hot water is actually included, which is just so uncommon <laughs> for apartments, especially around here since Portsmouth is a super desirable area, especially during COVID. A bunch of people are moving here, so I feel wicked lucky that that is the case. And I really love, honestly, the look of these like <laughs> golden, brassy, old heaters. I think it's really, really pretty and kind of like a fun, old fashioned design element. Here we kind of have the main living area. I think maybe a nice like couch and chair on this wall to kind of frame the fireplace and be able to look out the windows will be really pretty, but it's still definitely trying to figure out how to best utilize the space. But this is kind of a better, bigger look at the main area. As you can see from the echoes as well, these ceilings are super high, which makes the whole thing look even bigger. But if I kind of just keep walking, you can see that it's actually pretty large for a studio space. And because the walls do kind of come in right about here, I feel like it naturally kind of separates the room, which is definitely desirable in a studio. It's nice to have things in the place that naturally break up the space because I personally am not a fan of like huge divider walls or anything like that. I really like the openness of the studio, so I think that is a huge plus. And then in this corner, we have this beautiful fireplace with this honestly stunning subway tile detailing and obviously so many like hand carved beautiful stuff on the mantle, this old vintage mirror I am absolutely obsessed with. I don't even think I'm gonna get a TV just because this is just so beautiful in itself. Um, there's also so much more storage than you would expect from something this old. I have this little broom closet, there's an AC unit in the bottom, but these doors, just look at how thick that is. Absolutely insane. And then this is the main closet. So this opens up and it actually goes all the way inside it's a walk and you can walk all the way deeper down into the wall, which I obviously love as well. Okay, so this is my little kitchen. Um, just have a gas stove, a little countertop sink, decent amount of cabinet space with cabinets here and over here, stuff on the bottom, full-size fridge. As a gal who has only ever lived with roommates, having not just a shelf in the fridge for myself, but the whole thing is kind of a dream come true, I guess. There's absolutely nothing in here. Another heater, but there's a nice two big, big windows right here, which I really love the natural light that this place has. I am so affected by my environment. So <laughs> having natural light and being able to see the sun shining, especially living in New England, where it can get very cold and not as desirable outside, that really, really makes me happy. But yeah, she's a simple kitchen. I'm gonna paint um, all of these cabinets white just because this wood obviously doesn't match the beautiful main room at all um, and feels very random so I think white will help maybe get some fun little knobs but that's kind of about it that I'm going to do in here get a little long skinny kind of console table to work around here and then I'm also going to do some fun peel and stick tile floor because this floor is hideous <laughs> 
and then lastly we have my teeny tiny baby bathroom <laughs> which I'm fine with, it's just me. As you can see, she is bare bones. I'll bring you a little closer. I put on this just like simple white shower curtain, just I feel like light and bright is the way to go. Another nice decent sized window, especially for a bathroom. I got my little toilet, I have a sink with some little cabinets under there and then a little mirror, medicine cabinet, kind of all I need. Again, gonna do something with the floors, probably the same peel and stick tile that I do in the kitchen, I'll just follow into the bathroom as well. But, you know, she's bright, she's white, she's nothing too special, but she's also not too shabby. Again, living alone, wasn't sure if I was ever gonna be able to do it. So this is like the most exciting thing ever. I don't know if you guys are enjoying this video, but this is a big step in my adulting life. So I'd like to have it on YouTube, on video forever. <laughs> Okay, so that is my full studio apartment tour. Um, it was quick, but I think it's gonna be perfect for me. And I can't wait to show you guys more of me decorating it and getting in the furniture and just doing like the little tiny improvements here and there. I think this place has so, so much potential and I just feel like me and this apartment were meant to be. I have been looking for months for places in downtown Portsmouth and it's so, so difficult to find a place around here right now. So it popped up and it was only a five hour old listing. I annoyed the crap out of the agent <laughs> messenger like 10 times. The next day I came at 10 a.m. to show it and see it and fell in love, could just perfectly picture my life in here. So I'm just so, so excited that it actually worked out. In two days, I somehow had an apartment, but there's gonna be a lot of content surrounding this place. I think it's gonna help me um, be more consistent on YouTube, which I always say, but I'm serious now that I have my own place. I think it's gonna be so easy just to like, film and uh, show you my life. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. As always, I have my own business. I'm still running that out of my parents' house, so I'll be commuting to there. If this is the first time you've seen me, check out my Instagram, at Madeline Hickson, as well as my business Instagram, at MadX101. We're doing a lot, a lot of cool stuff over there, and we donate a portion of the proceeds to COVID relief. So super exciting. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.